what is going on my family this is your boy d coming back at you with another classic video and here man in this video here today y'all get the pleasure and the honor to listen to me run my mouth about snk now everybody knows you know snk has been grinding out man they are not playing no games out here you know they showcasing king of fighters 15 and you know i'm really happy for snk because you know they one of the companies that i really grew up with I really uh, played their games a lot, and you know what, when the opportunity presented itself, I always, you know, got my hand on the SNK title that I truly love, so that's what I'm going to be running my mouth about in this video here, it's just to kind of celebrate, um, you know, SNK and how far they've become, and and you know just the classic you know the classic shit that they done gave us and you know i'm still hoping snk you know if they keep grinding and open up their doors you know what i'm saying they gonna give us some better shit in the future you know and snk man you know they done gave us some you know some good ass art in their games some good ass memorable ass characters you know a lot of those characters i'm still waiting on them to return in the current games and you know i'm still holding out hope for a lot of these characters to come back but you know snk then gave us a lot and they were the first company to give us our first bruce lee clone ever in a fighting game they were a first they were the first company to give us tag battle and fighting games Man, you know, and this this video here is kind of like a SNK shout out because I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I've always liked SNK better than Capcom as a whole. That's just me. That's my opinion. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, I'm just feeling them better than I've always felt Capcom, even though, you know, I still play a lot of Capcom games. But, you know, hey, I just like SNK better. I always have. So, uh, you know, I'm going to get started here and just talk about the SNK titles that are very very dear to me and these are snk titles that i'm about to show you that you know a couple of these damn titles i literally cried over because i couldn't get my hands on them quick enough you you feel what i'm saying so that'll let you know how much i truly love these snk titles that we're going to talk about and like i said you know i'm just doing this just to celebrate you know uh snk because they've been around for a long time a lot of their franchises have been around 20 30 plus years so you know I'm about to run my mouth, so let's get into this shit. So family, so what y'all looking at right here are the SNK titles from my childhood. Now, this is not, you know, this is not my total collection here, but you know, this is kind of like, I guess you could say the essentials. You feel what I'm saying? Like I got a lot of other SNK titles, but you know, a lot of them are on download. But these titles that you see right here, you know, the, these are like the essential titles here. So, you know, you got, you know, just, you know, the originals. Um, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, you know, World Heroes. My personal favorite SNK franchise is World Heroes, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But I do want to, um, I do want to bring something up about Fatal Fury. And this kind of upsets me that no one is talking about, uh, you know, it's 2021. Uh, this is actually the uh, this is actually the 30th anniversary of Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury was released in 1991 for arcades, that is, and you know it's been 30 years later, and no one's talking about that. Nobody's tweeting it, and you know, and I kind of got a little bit upset. You know, people are not really acknowledging that you know it's been 30 years uh, for Fatal Fury, the 30 year anniversary. So. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm going to do this in this video. Shout out to Fatal Fury, 30 year anniversary. Yes, it's been 30 years of Fatal Fury. Uh, you know, everybody know the story of Fatal Fury, but I'm going to um, skip to Fatal Fury 2, Art of Fighting. Now, you know, Art of Fighting was a real, uh, real good game. Now, I really loved that game. I didn't really get into Art of Fighting 2 and 3. I kind of felt like they were the same type of games. But the first Art of Fighting was on point, man. I love that shit, man. I like the special moves. I liked how fast it was and shit like that. And of course, Robert Garcia, he was my, uh, he was kind of like my main character in the Art of Fighting game. So I really did enjoy Art of Fighting a lot. Um, then we got to get to the, um, the big hitter, which is Fatal Fury 2, man. Let me tell you about my, like Fatal Fury 2 here, man. This fucking game right here, I played the hell out of this game. I just loved Fatal Fury 2, man, especially for the Genesis version. The Fatal Fury 2 Genesis version, man, I, I kind of put that as like one of the top five fighting games 
for the Sega Genesis. You know, it was fast. It had good music. The, you know, the, the graphics weren't all that good, but it wasn't about that. But yeah, Fatal Fury 2, man. That motherfucker was a... Man, that game was hot. That game was hot. And then, that brings me to the the special. <laughs> the special Fatal Fury special. Now, he, see, the thing with uh, Fatal Fury special... Now, I got, I got Fatal Fury Special as one of my my personal favorite fighting games of all time. Um, Fatal Fury Special, of course, you know, along with Fatal Fury 2, you know, introduced, uh, you know, Wolfgang Krauser. I love that character. Um, you know, Fatal Fury Special, man, man, the game looked good and shit like that. And it came out for the Sega CD and I grabbed it. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on this game. This game, man, it was just so much fun. Man, it was just, man, you know, me and my brothers would play the hell out of this game. Basically, man, every night up to 2 a.m. in the morning, man, we'd play the hell out of Fatal Fury Special, man. Fatal Fury Special was special. Love that game. I still play that game today. I actually got that shit for download for uh, <clears throat> for Xbox Live, so, you know, I'm still rocking that original Fatal Fury Special, man. Can't go wrong with that shit. And uh, one thing I like about Fatal Fury Special uh, and one thing I didn't like about Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury 2 did not have any endings. That was kind of disappointing about Fatal Fury 2 because it was such a good ass game. It just didn't have no endings. But Fatal Fury Special had endings. And I love the endings on Fatal Fury Special. Fatal Fury Special has some of the funniest, goofiest endings, man. And I know for a fact, the, the best ending and my favorite ending of Fatal Fury Special had to be Duck King, man. That was just like... The line that he had in this in, in this game, man, this is unforgettable and funny. Like you remember that line in your sleep, man. <laughs> now to pursue my true callings, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> I will never ever forget that line in that ending, man. Duck King, that ending was so good and funny. But yeah, Fatal Fury uh, Special, man, had those endings, man. I love them damn endings. So now we are going to talk about uh, my favorite SNK franchise of all time, and that is World Heroes and World Heroes 2. Now, why is World Heroes my favorite SNK franchise of all time? I really don't have the answer to that. It just is. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it real. But, uh, you know, I guess it's because, you know, uh, because maybe the characters, the, the 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 concept of the game, you know, you know, warriors traveling through time, fighting each other, that stuff like that. I guess I found that kind of interesting. And like I keep on saying, uh, World Heroes introduced the first Bruce Lee clone ca character ever, which was Kim Dragon. He was the first. You know, I can't. Uh, I keep, you know, trying to preach this to people because a lot of people think that Fei Long was the first character, and he was not. It was Kim Dragon from World Heroes. This game right here introduced the first Bruce Lee clone ever. I think that's like my ten thousand times saying this shit, and I'm gonna keep saying it too until people understand that shit. But yeah, World Heroes, man. When this game. Uh, first came out i really didn't even know when it came out i think it came out like around 1993 or some shit and my brother actually uh my brother was the one that bought the game and i remember coming home from school and i saw my brother playing the game so i was just watching my brother play and i was like oh okay and i was just sitting here you know my brother was like you know just playing the game and he was going up against kim dragon and um my brother kept losing to him <laughs> My brother kept losing to Kim Dragon. Man, Kim Dragon used to make my brother mad to the point where he was like, man, I hate this Bruce Lee dude, man. <laughs> oh, my brother Tony, man. Shout out to my brother Tony, man. I think he, my, I know my brother watching this video right now. I can't, I remember those days. Well, Kim Dragon used to make my brother so mad. But um, yeah, so I would sit there and watch my brother play it. Man, I just fell for this game. I fell hard for this game. I was just like, man, let me get the second controller and join in. And then immediately, you know, I picked up a couple of good characters I like. I like, uh, you know, Rasputin is my, my favorite character. And then you got Fuma. So those two characters I rocked with. Um, you know, same thing with World Heroes 2. Uh, Fuma, Rasputin. I rocked with those two characters. 
Uh, so these two World Heroes games you see right here, these are the two games that uh, I rocked with. Now I do uh, I do own World Heroes uh, uh, Perfect, but it isn't. It's in bad. <laughs> that motherfucking CD is in bad fucking shape right now. Y'all do own that game. I never played World Heroes 2 Jet. Never played that game at all. I did um, play Supreme Justice. That game was okay. I, I, you know, it was kind. Of, it was like they was trying to be like Streets of Rage in that game, but it was it was okay. But uh, these two right here, man, I love these two games. Like World Heroes 2, man, I love this game. Played this game almost every freaking day. Every day I came home from school. This game right here, along with a couple other games, games like Mortal Kombat and shit like that, I would always play this game. This World Heroes 2 was probably it was it was one of the fastest games out at that time because I know you know you had Street Fighter was pretty fast. Um, it was probably Street Fighter, Eternal Champions, and then World Heroes 2 as as far as the fastest games at that time. World Heroes 2 was one of the fastest games at that time, 16-bit era, and. Uh, and like I said, uh, you know, I just like the I like how the characters are. You know, they got some real unique characters in World Heroes. You feel what I'm saying? World Heroes also has some, you know, pretty good music. They have some pretty good um, backgrounds too. And another thing about World Heroes, man, it was the the game was somewhat educational because, like I said, it was like a, a time traveling game. A lot of the shit in the game was actually true in, in, in a sense. So. Yeah, uh, shout out to World Heroes. Like I said, my favorite SNK franchise of all time. Love the game, love the characters. You know, the game had great music, had great art. Um, you know, and World Heroes is one of those games I, I, I just wish they it would return someday. Or they could re-release another anthology and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, something like that. But you know, World Heroes, man. It's always gonna hold a dear place to me because, man, like I said, it's one of my, it is my favorite SNK franchise of all time, man. You know, and I feel like World Heroes just does not get enough respect. You feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of people know of the game, but it, I feel like it just gonna, doesn't get a lot of respect. But uh, shout out to World Heroes, man. Favorite SNK game of all time. So now, man, we're gonna talk about. Um, of course, you know, uh, King of Fighters. Now, you know, King of Fighters is clearly, you know, SNK's brainchild franchise. King of Fighters is pretty much like, you know, what uh, Street Fighter is to Capcom. Uh, you know, everybody know King of Fighters at that time, especially in the 16-bit uh, the era, you know, King of Fighters was annual. When it came out in 1994, King of Fighters just came out every single year. So, but the thing about that was, I always thought to myself, you know what, sometimes it really didn't make sense to buy every single King of Fighters game. Like, you know, there was King of Fighters 94, you know, King of Fighters 95 was a masterpiece. Um, 96 and 97, I didn't fuck with them. I liked them, but it was just like, uh, what's the point of buying, you know, another King, two more King of Fighters games when they were kind of, you know, so close and release so that's how king of fighters is to me i love king of fighters but it was impossible for me to get every single king of fighters game so what i'm gonna do here so moody's decide and get these two these two games right here and uh this right here is king of fighters dream match 1999 which is actually king of fighters 98 and uh king of fighters 98 is my favorite most favorite king of fighters game of all time and y'all should know by now the reason why king of fighters 98 is my most favorite of all time yep you guessed it because this man right here legendary lucky yeah so basically there you go right there you know you know he's my main character whenever he's in you know Whenever he's in the King of Fighters game, he, he's always my main character. Um, he was my main character in King of Fighters 98. He was my main character in King of Fighters 94. So, you know, I just, I just, this character is just, you know, he, he, he's one of, he is one of the, the best concepted and crafted characters ever made. And it's, it's almost been 23 years since he's been in the King of Fighters game. He's one of those characters I'm also hoping, I am just hoping, I know it's a long shot. That he would show up some way somehow in King of Fighters 15, but you know it's probably not going to happen. But 
you know, it, it's unfortunate and it's a shame because this character, he, he is really an excellent character. He has good moves. He, he's an exciting character. He's an interesting character. You know, man, I just love Lucky. They just, they, SNK just needs to find a way to put him in, in these King of Fighters games. They need to find a way. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, King of Fighters 98. Man, this, this game, man, I'm telling you, this game was a masterpiece. I played it all the time. You know, it had a lot of characters. At the time when King of Fighters 98 came out, I think King of Fighters 98 probably had the most characters in a fighting game at that time. So it was a lot of characters to choose from. Game had a lot of depth too. So uh, that's why it was my most favorite King of Fighters of all time. And I know at that time, a lot of people didn't really pay attention to it. King of Fighters 98 was like, that's when we had like the old World Wide Web back then. You know, King of Fighters 98 was everywhere over the internet. People were making their own custom mangas and art and shit like that. Motherfuckers were digging King of Fighters 98. Man, I remember, man, shit. When I was going to school, that's all I did was draw King of Fighters 98 and shit, man. That was just a good-ass game. It, it really was. So, it was my most favorite King of Fighters game of all time. And then, you know, we got uh, King of Fighters Evolution, which is pretty much which is king of fighters 99 so this was a you know this was a good game too i really like this game because you know snk really switched some stuff up in king of fighters evolution which is 99 of course it had uh it had vanessa and seth in the game so those two characters were cool and you know hopefully one day we get those two characters back so you know this is a lot of characters that you know, I'm hoping that it'll be back in KOF 15, you know, uh, we still have to see because we already know it's going to be DLC and shit like that for KOF 15. So hopefully, you know, SNK will surprise us all, pull a rabbit out of the hat and, you know, you know, give us some classic characters. So now what you're looking at is Capcom versus SNK. So this was a real defining moment. Of course, you know, on your left here is Samurai Showdown. Now, I'm not really going to talk about, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about Samurai Showdown in this video because I actually have an exclusive project that um, is in the works for Samurai Showdown. So I'm not going to say too much about Samurai Showdown in this video because you know, I don't want it to kind of mess up the, the project that I have going on for it. So we're going to kind of just leave Samurai Showdown out of it for, you know, for this video. So um, I want to talk about Capcom versus SNK. So this was a real defining moment because, you know, a lot of people didn't think that this was going to happen. But it did. And I'm glad it happened because I really did enjoy this. Um, you know, Capcom versus SNK first came out. It was just like everybody was wild. Like I was wild. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? It's they actually did it, and you know they actually did the shit, and it came out. So I actually like what the game had going on. You know, of course, you know they had Capcom versus SNK two. Now this is something I wouldn't mind them bringing back out. Capcom versus a SNK three. I, I I would like that. That that'll be pretty cool. Um, like I said, Capcom versus SNK, really enjoyed it. I like the matchups, you know, my Shiranui versus Chung Lee, you know what I'm saying? Terry Bogard versus, I, I really, honestly, I don't know why they have Terry Bogard and Ryu right there. It, you know, it, it should have been, Ki, it, it should have been Kiyu Kusanagi and Ryu uh, right there. Uh, I don't know why they got Terry Bogard on there. I mean, I understand it because Terry Bogard is one of one of the most popular characters, star character SNK. But I just never understood the, you know, I just never understood this, you know, this image right here. Should have been Kyo Kusanagi, and then of course Terry Bogard should have been going up against Ken. You know what I'm saying? That just would have made made better sense. But yeah, it was a lot of good matchups uh, in this game. Uh, you know, like I said. Terry versus Ken, Ryu versus Kyo, you know what I'm saying, you know, when I, when I play this game, I always, um, you know, I like the team of, you know, Ori and uh, Kyo, I always like to team those two up and go against the Capcom fighter <laughs> and just beat up all of those Capcom fighters because it was just good to see and then on top of that too, everybody knows the the kind of the beef that Capcom and SNK had at the time and then K 
Capcom did that dirty shit to SNK and all that. And then, you know, they were competing with each other. You know, SNK had uh, had Shingo Yabuki, who was a, a 2.0 version of Kyo Kusanagi. And then, of course, you had Dan on the other side. So, you know, you had you had a lot of you just had a lot of uh, you just had a lot of funny stuff going on between these two companies. These two companies were just doing some really doing some dumb shit to each other at the time. But hey, I was rooting for SNK though because I, I kind of felt like you know they work harder. And then you know at that time, Capcom was just giving us the same fucking games every week, and people were being fools and actually buying them. So it was just like you know. It, it, it was good to see a game like this um, you know the game had good longevity too so like I said it was a lot of a lot of shit going on good matchups as a matter of fact you know um, probably when the weekend get here I might uh might play this game a little bit might play this game a little bit um yeah Capcom versus SNK especially the first one I actually I like the first one better than uh, better than the second one I think the first one it was just like you know we just all got wild and then when the second one came out it was like it was we got wild but i was like oh okay you know capcom versus snk too okay but this shit right here when this shit came out man hey we all got wild by this shit man love the game so my family there y'all have it the essentials of snk or at least you know my essentials you know i know a lot of y'all probably got y'all own essential snk collection out there but yeah these titles right here man they you know i i kind of feel like these are the ultimate snk titles and that's the reason why i have them and that's the reason why i cherish them man like i said man snk they have given us some legendary ass shit and like i said it's good that you know king of fighters 15 is coming out because i really want snk to succeed and progress because i want them to i want them to do more of what they're doing so they can hopefully you know bring back some characters bring back some classic games like bring back fatal fury you know what i'm saying bring back royal heroes so i i, I want snk to succeed I, I really do because i want them to bring a lot of stuff back so uh yeah the essential titles right here fatal fury art of fighting world heroes capcom versus snk samurai showdown king of fighters you know also you know the last blade uh, you know that game too um, you know so SNK man SNK is where it's at man so uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below what's y'all favorite SNK title what's y'all favorite SNK character man let me know we can get a conversation started and until next time man this is your boy Demetrius thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening to me run my mouth about these essential snk titles i really appreciate it and i will get back at y'all in the next video i am out god bless stay safe out there peace